what are we looking at here? This is the humeral head, the ball portion of it. So the humeral head portion of the joint. This is the socket. Again, the golf ball, golf tee analogy. This is the top of the joint that we call the acromion and the clavicle coming this way. Matt's head would be in that direction. His left shoulder would be over here in this direction. So as we scroll back and forth, what we want to look for is white, meaning fluid where we shouldn't. As I go to the very, very front of the shoulder here, you can see there's a pocket of fluid, an area of white in this area. This muscle belly right here is what we call the subscapularis. That's the front portion in the rotator cuff as it kind of sits right here. And then the supraspinatus kind of comes over the top here. This is what we call the coracoid. And this little window right here is what we call the interval, right? The rotator cuff interval, meaning it's between the supraspinatus and the subscapularis. It's where the biceps tendon kind of runs in. And it's an area of soft tissue that doesn't provide a whole lot of structure, but it helps with the biceps tendon as it comes into the shoulder. And um, you can see that there's white fluid in the area. And so it looks like there's some swelling and fluid and potential tearing of that interval portion of the, the, uh, the shoulder. And if we go to this view, you can also see it uh, quite well into the, the front of the shoulder. That's all that white that you're seeing behind that coracoid. And especially as we kind of come to the top there, you see that there is a, a, um, a lesion, if you will, or an injury to the interval tissue 